We are out of the water and the world is in crisis. <laughs> Something so simple yet can sink your boat. This boat is never any room to work. It would have been like a three day job but we're turning it into a bigger one. He loves it. Working hard, son. Good work, babe. Hey guys, so today we're going to attempt to pull out our skin fittings in the boat, which is to all of our um, seacocks and whatnot. Never done it before, probably been in for 30 years. Don't know if they're going to crumble apart, be stuck in, break the boat apart, but I'm just making up. I'm just going to pull my pullers apart because I really just want the threaded rod off this. I'm going to make myself a bit of a pulley for the um, seacocks or for the through holes. Now that there, I think I'm going to sit the base of that on that back of the seacock, all the skin fitting in the boat, and then I'm going to turn it and hopefully pop the uh, skin fitting off. Let's see how we go. It's job one for our hauler. Actually, the, ma the main reason why we pulled it. it. So he's going to sit this on the outside of the hole, put a packer in here and here, and hopefully the skin fittings aren't longer than that. Then he will. Why that? And that should pop our fitting out. Fingers crossed. I don't know how old these are, so um, generally a lot of the older stuff's a lot better quality than what you get these days, so it could be alright, but it's just always on the back of my mind when we're ashore. It's like if one of these things left to go, you're really hoping that your bilge pump will keep up. Otherwise, you've got a sinking boat. Sort of one of the really weak points in a boat. Something so simple. Is that good? It's moving. Okay, so to me that, you know, it's... Probably not too bad. There's no real pitching on it. That one doesn't look that old. No. To be honest. That's alright, we'll do them all anyway. This boat says never any room to work, but they all come apart like this. I think we might be lucky. I've just removed the um, valve backing ring that goes onto the skin fitting. Now my little contraption I've made to see if I can pop them out. <laughs> okay, so Bella's gonna be in here. Putting it that thing, show us what you can do. No, no, no. You put that over the hole. Yeah, I got that. So you'll have to, once Daddy puts the the thread, the rod through, he'll put a rod through and then you thread that on and then once it's on you hold it with that. So she's going to be here. We're going to go outside and see how Daddy goes. Well, I reckon if I just put that there, yeah, hold them two there. A little tall work. Yeah, clever. Oh yeah. It's only one though. <laughs> and lots more. Then you was looking like. <laughs> could, have been, could have been an easy one. <laughs> A little bit of damage on nothing that's not repairable. Easy fix that one. Unbelievable, that chicken wire is only like five mil below the surface and there's not a skerrick of rust on it. Very good sign. Alright. It's unreal. That's the first one. One down. How many to go? I don't know. We've got little worms on the boat. <laughs> Green fingernail worms, they call them. And around them a little bit, just to, you know, so, so there's, easy come there's out. no seal on them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that now. So, Alright. Uh, These are our next two that we're going to do. Lee's going to just grind around the outside of here so it doesn't pull anything apart. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. These two come out like that one just did. 
Being on the hard stand means a lot of going up and down this ladder. grinding around the skin fittings. Meanwhile, Taj is still sanding the hull. This is number two, where we do number twos. <laughs> we did, we gave it a good flush. Don't worry, Lee's in uh, sanitary conditions. <laughs> Which isn't always the case, is it? She's usually blocked with a big poo in these lines. <laughs> All right, that's a good sign. First bit has come off. It just fell off, just by muscle power. It fall off, it was those big ass arms. It's hot in here though, I know that much. It is. Oh, I had a film. <clears throat> What's that thing? It's actually my grandfather's these. They're actually a really old style plumbing set of Stilsons. But um, they're just really good and they just really work. It as opposed ancient. to the modern ones. <laughs> Number two is a bit more of a challenge. Ugh, what was that? It's just, just the in water intake, There's nothing to do with the toilet. <laughs> that's what you're implying. Paint over it all. It's going to be a hard one. Something. I'll just get a wire brush and see what I can do. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we just banged heads, you know, working in a tight space trying to film. He loves it. So what he's doing is he's got a wire brush and he's trying to clean out um, the thread. Is it a thread? Sure is. It's the thread. It's thread and a lot of paint around Because we painted it all in there and um, obviously sealed it all up. So he's having a bit of a trouble with this side because we've uh, painted it in. Job done. Job done. All you need is a wire brush on the end of a drill. There it goes. Turning. Oh no. Is it great? It's turning all broken one or the other. Hold that now. The whole lot's turning. Uh oh. <sighs> uh oh. You should be able to get that ship to some box on a wall or something, sweetie. Okay. Yeah. Shifter is locked onto the wall. Lee is through there. Um, the thing was spinning, so he's trying to work out how he can undo it without both of the things spinning. and can't get the nut off. Got a bit angry with that one. Came out! <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I don't know what he did on the other side, but he had the grinder. It came through. Alright, so that one's done. That one is the next one. Big one. Right, so the second one came off, but he had to cut it off, and now he just tells me he doesn't know if he can get the part, so we could be screwed here. Oh, it's just missing the front of it, so he'll be right. <clears throat> Number three is seeming to be a little tough. Top part off. Yeah. This 
a nightmare in here. Wow. <laughs> we can beep it out. <laughs> People wondered if you ever lost your shit, honey. <laughs> but he does it with a smile. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's worth it. It's like it was, the boat hole's perfect. It would have been like a three day job, but we're turning it into a bigger one. But it's one of those things that's got to be done. I'm wondering whether to pull all that toilet out and give myself a bit more room. The toilet got in the way, so it's cut it out. We should have just taken it out from the beginning, but anyway, taking the toilet out now. All right, guys, so this one behind me, the last one. So that third one was third one was proven to be a pain in the butt. Um, Lee pulled out the toilet so he could get better access. Um, had the same problem as he did with the second one, so he's actually cut this one off as well. We'll grinded it off. So fingers crossed we can find these two. Uh, we should be able to. I think they're pretty standard sizes but hopefully we can find them here in Lankawi. We have to wait for shipping. We're not sure because of this coronavirus that's going around has kind of put a standstill for things. So yeah we hope everything goes smoothly. We are out of the water and the world is in crisis. <laughs> so can't really escape until we're back in and now we've got holes in the boat so we have to fix those before we go back in, but this is the reason why we, we pulled out. We could have just repainted and gone back in within a couple of days, but we have never replaced them and we don't know when they were replaced last, so they were pretty old and dingy looking and yeah, playing on Lee's mind, so we thought we'd just uh, replace them all. I think he's regretting it now. Yeah. Just be careful, that'll be hot. Okay. Hot. Do you want me to? Yeah, well, it's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Yeah, there's nothing less resting on it's going to melt, yeah? Nah. Does that come out? Um. Yeah. Got it! <laughs> Three down! Three down, and that's all. <laughs> Is that all you're doing? It's over it, it's done. Well, there's uh, this one, this one, three down. You have to grind that off. I don't think that would have broke. Can, um, clean up in there now, oh, can I? Tools. I can clean up in here? Yeah, put on my tools. Awesome. In, uh, I love cleaning. <laughs> Alright, so we're on to number four. Good. The last two with bastard but this one's not looking the greatest nothing's easy on this boat there's just no access to anything yeah fella's down there cleaning the uh, propeller started moving under my foot <laughs> shaft <laughs> he's gonna move the exhaust pipe now the exhaust out of the road oh Beautiful. The valve was removed and now to pull out the skim fitting. Sweetie? Sweetie? Hello? Turn the holder! What just happened, folks? 
one more out. It doesn't actually look too bad, this one. But, I know what they are, we'll replace them. So, there's number four. All right, so we had a bit of a break. We had lunch and uh, we're getting back into it. Lee's, there's four done and there's four more to go. They're all in this aft part behind our bed and they're really unaccessible. So Lee's in there at the moment trying to see if it's even possible to yeah, do. Poor quality too. And they look terrible. They're the worst looking ones, are they? Yeah, look at that. Handles have snapped off them and corroded like anything. Just can't get any leverage. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh. It just really... Oh, that looks not good. No. The that handles have snapped off and they're terrible. And it's a good idea to replace that one. Yeah, definitely. It's half of it off. I think I'm going to have to chop the rest off though. We have an armhole on this side. I'm trying to hold something that I'm not very good at. That, that spanner thing. But I'm trying to hold the leash right with the hammer so we can turn that little thing here. But we're not having much luck. So that's where one very frustrated man. I don't know if you can get it We had no luck with this one either, but because we're replacing them, Lee cut this one off too. Got it. It was easier than the other side. Final one for the day and it wasn't too hard. It looked pretty bad and the skin fitting this side was plastic. So Lee was relieved we replaced it. Pretty sad looking, a lot of corrosion. Um, and plastic. I'm not, I don't know, a lot of people use it. I just, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me, plastic. So that's our sixth and final one that we're doing? No, another one, the water maker below. But only little ones now, I think that should be easy. Start with aft. There's two, two are left in our aft, but um, they look fine. So you can leave those. They're in a uh, bit of a spot too, so that's kind of good. Um, how many we got left? Two little ones. Two little ones. Do a. Do a laggy. So it's the end of day two. We've got six out of eight valves out. Lee's doing all the measuring and things so we can order some new ones to replace them right now. So we're pretty on schedule with what we wanted to do. So. Yay. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, we've just been informed today that <laughs> that there is um, we're in lockdown from tomorrow in Malaysia, where we are. We were supposed to fly today to Penang um, because it's Lee's birthday tomorrow. He's uh, going to be 40. 40th on the, on the hard stand, stand on the boat down. This seat cut's going to make a noise. Anyway, so we've um, we've decided to not go due to the situation. All the shops are closing from tomorrow till the 31st of March, which is I think two weeks. It's a little bit scary. Happy birthday! It's my birthday. How old are you today? I'm 40 and we're stuck on the boat on the hard stand. We're in Malaysia and there's travel restrictions and there's a shutdown for the next two weeks so far. I did have other plans for my birthday, but... Oh yeah, we're going to make the most of it. We are stuck here. So we're pretty much just going to be on the boat working. Got plenty of food. We stocked up yesterday. I'm upstairs making a cake. The other three are downstairs working. I know, working on his birthday. Um, there's not much else for us to do. Thought we might as well get everything done. Oh, this is a carrot cake I'm making, I'm about to put it in the oven. Doesn't seem real fair that it's your birthday today and this is what you're doing. Yeah, I definitely had other plans for me 40th, but anyway. <laughs> oh well, you're doing a great job. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks, baby. Oh, cracking a cold one for the old guy. <sighs> I think you earned that today. Birthday boy. A big one. Homemade slushy. And we got a drink coming. We got a margarita. Oh, margarita. 
life's not too bad, even though this coronavirus has taken over the world at the moment. I suppose one thing to look at is I'm here with my family. That's the main thing. Margaritas, family, cake. We're high and dry in the hard stand at the moment with the boat, but hey, life's still pretty good. Cheers, baby. To you. Cheers. 40 years. Been on earth. We love you. Oh, she's Happy trying birthday. to take advantage of me. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's windy in here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. For he's a jolly good fellow. Blow it out. Make a wish. Oh, I touched oh, the bottom! I touched the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I deliberately touched it. Good job. <laughs> First piece. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you. That looks Thanks. really good. Can you pass me a spoon, please? Thank you guys for watching. We love you and we'll see you next time.